Uh, yes, they were. And a majority of the people blasted the district for their decision to require masks in schools. This is despite the fact that it was not really up for discussion tonight. Even before the CMS Board of Education meeting got underway, you knew where things stood. All but one of the board members masked up, and it was reflected in the exact vote that was taken at the end of last month on the issue itself. Despite the fact that it was decided, the issue was not done. I have zero trust, and there is zero transparency in CMS. Sending unknowingly infected and contagious people to mingle and infect others is bioterrorism. Parents on either side made their case known, some going so far as to say the mask requirement was unconstitutional. I'm sick and tired of arrogant dictators thinking they have the power to control how children breathe. While others see the value in having children mask up. These parents here do not speak for all parents. I do want you to know that because we appreciate what you have done and the conversations that you have had. CMS was one of the first districts locally to adopt a mask requirement for their schools. Others decided to go optional, but a number of those districts reversed course once COVID cases saw a surge. But the decision for districts to acquire masks is leading some to actually take their children out of school, saying personal liberties are being taken away. We decide that and we demand the freedom to choose. You also knew where a good deal of the crowd stood here. It may not have been the only topic from parents here at this meeting, but some say it's the most consequential, at least as long as the COVID concerns remain. All around the country, the adults are doing nothing in so many places. So I thank you for requiring masks. A lot of differing opinions, Derek, and that was not the only big thing brought up tonight. The Myers Park High School suspension and the sexual assault report also taking center stage at this meeting. Uh, yes, and a lot of that centered around Principal Mark Bosco and his suspension. We've been reporting on that actually for quite a bit now, and also the fact that an interim principal has been placed. Now, uh, this all revolves around his handling of reports of sexual assaults that happened around campus. The board is still expected to take up discussion around Title IX issues specifically related with what's happened at Myers Park High School and specifically harassment and assaults. That, however, did not stop some of the uh, students, current and former, from talking about what happened. Take a listen. I am calling for an external, unbiased investigator to be hired to conduct an investigation into the Myers Park administration's handling of Title IX. I'm also asking for county-level changes to CMS record keeping of sexual misconduct reports. CMS records claim there have only been two rapes in the entire county in the past decade. Why? Because they are the only two that resulted in any discipline. Now, that woman you heard from is a sexual assault victim herself. She says she wants more action on the part of Myers Park High School administration and also the district. Now, again, they are expected to be taking up this issue tonight. So far, they have not done so. But this meeting, by the way, has been going on since 6 o'clock. So chances are it's going to be uh, still another couple of hours to go before this meeting ends. Back to you.